Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about my league starter for 3.20. For this league, I'm planning to be starting on a Saboteur Hexblast Trapper. I feel like with the changes that are coming to Temporal Chains, along with the changes to Hexblast, it really suits a trap play style for the, for the skill. The cast time on it was increased to one second, which is going to have a significant impact on the ability to do self-cast things with it, um, as well as the entire Doom mechanic was reworked and removed. So now it allows it to be uh, utilized effectively with um, various forms of curse on hit. So the core of the build um, will be using Hex Blast traps with um, a double curse on hit setup. Uh, you'll have temporal chains on hit on your gloves and you'll be running Despair on hit on a ring. Um, you'll see I simulated this here in just in um, Path of Building here. The only um, recommended unique for the build um, that you're really going to be looking at is going to end up being a um, Devouring Diadem or Eldritch Battery. Um, best case scenario, you do get the Ailments mod um, on there. But that's just um, going to be increased damage that if you don't have it, you, um, you'll you be fine without it. Um, pretty much, you'll see what I simulated here in POB. I just basically gave it a simple plus one chaos wand, um, a simple plus one chaos um, shield, and everything else is pretty much just suppression and life, um, and some resistances outside of the curse on hit um, things that we're aiming for. Um, for this build, you have a couple different options. Um, for softcore players like myself, I'm gonna I recommend using a cluster jewel setup. Um, the gorilla tactics and careful handling nodes on the medium clusters um, are very high value, and then you can just use a uh, chaos damage uh, large cluster. Um, you can aim for getting three of these. Any of the ones that give 30% chaos damage is fine. But um, for starting out or for things on day one, something with just eight nodes and two um, is more than fine. Um, part of the reason that makes this such a good starter again is that you also get to level while with using Poisonous Concoction. Um, you'll see here I basically just made a simple leveling build. Pretty much you'll just be using Poisonous, uh, poisonous Concoction. You want to start it out with uh, Volley and LMP as you get them. You change it out to Greater Volley and GMP as soon as you get those as well. For the, some of the best things about using Poisonous Concoction for leveling is you don't have to worry about a weapon. Uh, you pick up the skill at level 12 and you pretty much just need to make sure you're staying on top of upgrading your flasks when you find them. Um, it's recommended you um, change the filter color for life flasks just so you make sure you're picking them all up um, you especially want to be seeing the blue ones on the ground so you get kind of a free uh, transmutation on there and a free chance of getting a you know upgraded flask for a little bit more damage for your build i've included a leveling tree in the uh, path of building here um, for the most part you just want to be focusing straight on the uh, chaos damage, movement speed. Um, you want to pick up the leech right away. And then from there, you're basically just taking all of the poison chance nodes. Um, it's important to get maximize your poison chance. You won't grab this wheel until you grab this other poison on hit chance over here. And then you will grab the onslaught effect um, or the onslaught chance from graceful assault as you don't really have the sockets to um, throw it on your poisonous concoction. So you don't want to be running onslaught on there. After that, you pretty much just go through and start pathing towards um, your normal endgame pathing. So you start picking up the aura nodes, and then you work your way up here to grab the additional curse, and then the um, poison transfer spells, other things like that. Um, because of where we are on the tree, um, while you are working on gearing out the character, um, preferably you end up with spell suppression on everything you can. But while you are in, in those interim phases, you can grab the spell suppression wheel here. You can grab the spell suppression point with intuition and quick step. 
or um, you can also pick up the spell suppression on instinct um, here as well. I believe the three of these wheels combined end up equaling 83% um, something like that. I can actually take a look. I don't believe I have suppression on anything in this other than the boots and the gloves. So that's 21. Um, yeah, so that's like 82%, I believe, from the tree. Um, so you can pick those up early and drop the points as you no longer need them. Um, same goes for the cluster jewels. If you want to go a no cluster jewel approach, you can end up cycling through the center path here to pick up the Scion Life Wheel. Um, you can pick up some extra skill duration. Uh, you can pick up some extra um, spell suppression through Mage Bane, extra resistances, etc. Um, for the most part, though, you'll see that the setup here um, is going to be showing. This is the wrong skill still because I put on the leveling skills here. Let's change this back to um, the swap that you end up doing once you finish Merciless Lab. You'll end up wanting to wait for Merciless Lab for this just so that you can finish the three um, trap related nodes. Um, you'll want to pick up Pyromaniac first as the other two wheels don't do anything for Poisonous Concoction. Um, having a little bit of um, ailment immunity is always helpful while you level. And then um, once you pick up Perfect Crime and Chain Reaction uh, after Merc Lab, at that point you can start using traps. Early on before you get Diadem, you will end up having to use Life Tap um, instead of Void Manipulation um, early on. Um, it's But once you can actually change to um, using Void Manip, you will want to end up doing that um, instead of running Life Tap. But early on, before you get Diadem, you can go ahead and do that. Alternatively, you can path over to the EV nodes. So you're only a few points off um, in the level 90 uh, two tree. You can path over to EV if you want um, through leveling. I have went ahead and recorded a um, some footage of me doing a tier 16 map on just a um, on a character that I built from standard with some random junk. So let's go ahead and go through that right now. All right, so you're going to notice here, um, this isn't the fastest clear speed um, yet at this point. When you see the gear that I'm wearing afterwards, you're going to understand why. I literally just picked gems that I had out of my stash. The first that I found, a lot of the support gems I have are under level 10. Uh, the only gem that I believe is 21 in the entire build is just a level 21 X plus gem. Um, I'm using a... Uh, basically a white weapon. Um, at this point, I pick some random flasks to use. And um, you can see the map clear speed still here is, um, it's not the best, but it's still fine. And this is before all of the buffs that we're gonna be getting. The text blast, it is going to be getting um, basically double of what you're seeing here already, along with the adjustments to despair and temp chains. Um, you're gonna notice a little bit of effects. One of the things you do notice is that, again, um, the overlap with the hex blast, hex blast explosions is very helpful at um, clearing packs. So as soon as a couple traps end up popping in a pack, um, they are dead. This is a tier 16. Again, my character is basically naked. I don't have, um, I'm not using a plus one shield. I'm not using a plus one wand. I believe there's plus one on the neck right now, and that's about it. And I believe there's plus two in the chest. I think it's um, using like a skin of the lords, but it's also using life tap instead of void manip because that's just what I haven't had in my inventory. And I did not feel like going through and purchasing something else. Um, so with some of the arts 
um, rears here. It is a little bit slower still, but I believe, you know, it will have no issues post-patch. And um, with the buffs that are coming to Xbox, I do not anticipate any issues. You'll notice that the poison ends up ramping up here um, and ends up killing us off. I have not done anything on standard on this character since I logged back in. I logged in to do some testing on this, basically, and that was about it. So let's go ahead and look at the gear that I'm wearing here. Uh, as you can see, again, this is not doing anything for my build. Um, it's just basically a white wand at this point. Um, devouring diadem, I'm not actually using the focus mod on it, so I'm not getting any additional damage from there. Um, it's a decent necklace. Um, the best um, enchant that you would, or anointment you would want on the necklace would be for wither um, effect, but I'm just using this from a different build. So it is uh, just using whatever it has on it. You can see here I just ended up throwing a bunch of um, resist jewels um, on there just so I could ensure that I was capped resistances to actually do a map test on it. Um, the gems themselves, again, just whatever gems I could find laying around. Uh, I'm not using, you know, perfectly min max jewels or anything like that. Um, it's just whatever I could find in my stash just for a simple test. So, if you end up having any questions about the build, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. I will be updating my progress with the build um, every day or two uh, on this channel, as well as streaming on this channel if you end up wanting to check the progress live. Have a good one. See you in the next one.